Oh boy. Okay. Hi. Again, I'm on a roll um, because I'm trying to find things to put in this box over here. 14 by 14, 14 by 14 by Um Lucky, actually, because I found some old milk crates that I had stuff in, just odds and ends. And a lot of it can fit in this box. And as you saw in the big bag, an old tote bag, I don't want to call it tote bag, but shopping bag from Barnes & Noble. But before we get to that, a few other things. First of all, and this is, ooh, wow. I'm surprised this is still intact. OK Cola. This was, and this was before hipsters. This is, do we have on here a date? No, I'm gonna have to look this up. 1994, Coca-Cola Company. So Coca-Cola, kind of smart, really. They figure out Coca-Cola is almost like a, it's almost a universal word. The only thing that comes close is okay. So they say, let's make a fake, I guess, generic brand of Coca-Cola. I've not tried, I don't even think I've ever tried it, but they got, they did four designs. They got various people, cart Andy Cartoonist, but you can see here, see, a carbonated beverage, quote unquote. Um, okayness, they even trademark that, or registered to trademark it, I don't think they have a trademark anymore. So, again, this is 35 milligrams of sodium, 40 grams of sugar. Again, high fructose corn syrup and our sucrose citric acid, caramel color. I don't know how this compares to regular Coke. I'm not going to open this. I'm not going to drink it. I'm sure there are people who have um, analyzed it over the years. Um, but what they did, well, the reason I have this is because they got, they did four can designs. Mission for indie cartoonists to do this. I'm not exactly sure who did this one. It's not signed. But here it says, coincidence, number 382. 382. Your third week of mourning, a dying romance. Cat Jay of Boston bought a 12-pack of OK at her corner store. A few cans, she had difficulty recalling the name of her ex. After another can, Cat stopped checking her answering machine obsessively. By the end of the week, a feeling of okayness had overcome her, and she had just given very little thought to events that happened before she drank. Okay. So, again, marketed to my generation, my demographic, really, 1994. I was <clears throat> 25 years old. Generation X. This is Generation X Cola we're talking about here. Let me get a good close up there. Um, so, that's why I have this and still have this. And I'm not going to pack it in there because I'm afraid it's going to, even though it hasn't yet, I'm afraid it's going to burst and you're going to have cold problems. Next, from Graffiti Graphics, excuse me, Graffiti Designs, Madman Playing Cards. Um, these are mint in box. Let me see. Because the box, I mean, the, bo the box is on there. Oh, geez, it's really good. oh, yes. I did open one of the sacks, the blue ones. Okay, so. Hopefully they're not water damaged, stuck in here. Why are they stuck? Okay, there we go. Um, now this is interesting. Yeah, there's some. Yeah, these were water damaged. Still so playable. But there again, there's one. There is the Joker. Now, if I remember correctly, Graffiti also offered King of Hearts. Um, and there's another Joker. Yes. Uh, graffiti, I believe, also offered an uncut sheet. I have the bone uncut sheet. This is from 1997 because, again, with playing cards, I always put a calendar on them. You never know, right? I believe the other deck is the same designs. Um, nice little, almost like a portfolio, print portfolio. So... But again, I like that each card is a different design. Otherwise, why bother? Okay, so that's going in the box over here at some point. And then, not playing cards, but cards you can play with. And these are wonderful. This is one of my favorite. Uh, twice? 
as a kid, and, I, and hopefully they're still around here somewhere, is the original House of Cards designed by Charles Eames. Yes, the chair guy. And what these are, I don't think I opened these. Oh, yeah, the art looks good. I can show you how they work. I bought this at the Denver Art Museum. It's the machine here, and it's still readable. 20, 2007. There you are. I think the MoMA store, design store, had them too. These are not cheap. These are $25. And they sell them in three different sizes, which is cool. And there was even a limited edition set as well that if you look online. But here are, here's the insert. I guess they're not. They're, but what's cool, of course, okay, so these are pictures. What's, what's, these are going in many ways. But first of all is one thing that is you have the back of the card. I'm not going to open it up. Um, has a generic design on it. I think, it, yeah, here. You can see it on here. Here's the generic design. The stars, right? That's the back of the card. But the front of the card has all these wonderful graphics on it. Just generic, nicely photographed, full color designs, right? They're not designs. They are actual objects. For, we have a little cigar box, herbs and spices, East Indian marionettes, Chinese patchwork kilts, Czechoslovakian bone glass beads, spools of thread. They're just wonderful designs on the covers. But here's the wonderful thing about the card is six slots cut into it. And various ways, and these are not the only ones, where you can have them interlock. Of course, one of the coolest things of it, and here are some very cool structures. My favorite, of course, was always linking them together into a straight line and then curving them over. So you made a bridge like this or a ring. You can do that too. That was a cool thing. That was one of the coolest things as well. But interlocked in a variety of ways, and they are just, they were marvelous cards. Probably my second favorite toy after the Lego. And Lego is a whole bunch of different bricks. So. Um, Ravensburger has a license now. They probably always did. Um, so for example, here's the full color of the spools of thread. Giving you an idea of the quality. Then back on here, it says Charles and Ray Eames designs embrace films, environments, furniture, and toys. Their furniture designs are modern classics. The 54 card picture deck was first produced in 1952. The images are of what the Eames is called good stuff, chosen to celebrate familiar nostalgic objects from the animal, mineral, and vegetable kingdoms. Six slots in each card enable the players to interlock the cards so, to, so as to build structures in myriad shapes and sizes. Um, there is a very limited edition, I think, of maybe eight cards supplement, if you want to get, if you want to use the collector's term, um, of, I believe they use computer themes on it. And I will supply a link. What's my hair doing? Um, supply a link below for more information on that. But again, for 25 bucks, this is not a, I mean, that's, yeah, 50 cents a, so, uh, but again, a wonderful plaything. I want to say ages four and up. Anywho, there we go. So, That's why I did that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should put that in the back. Oh well. Oh well. Let me get this back in there like that, and hopefully it doesn't do too much damage. All right. Sorry, damage. You know what I mean. So this is the Denver. Oh, let me see. So that's going in there. Now, let's push this my keyboard to work. And I am just going to go through this bag again. Barnes and Noble. We have 
There's George Grabig. I think a friend gave this to me. It's part of his, when it was, uh, that would have been James. I hope he's doing well. He had some, uh, uh, some problems when he lived in New York. He was getting help. Um, I think one of the solutions to that was leaving Facebook. So, James, I'm thinking of you. I think this, this was your, <laughs> the candy in here, gigas, toys, stickers. Again, I guess this is a memorial to him. And here I have a surprise for a boy. Grab that. There's the barcode on the back. I'm a boy, so I can open this up. And what do I find? Oh, all sorts of weirdness, I'm sure. Okay. We have, again, Marty Robbie. Oh, God, how much Mar Marty Gar going to be like this year? When is it? Late February, early March, usually. Here is a, I don't know. I think it's a base for a car. Oh, there's a walkie-talkie. And four pieces of chalk in the size of hemispheres to suggest balls. Basketball, baseball, soccer, and tennis. Again, Frank gave this to me, so I'm not really going to throw it out for now. I'll let somebody else discover it decades from now. Hopefully decades from now. Um, but, uh, ooh, this I bought. Remember the Justice League cartoon? Not before, right before Justice League Unlimited? Well, here is the official Wonder Woman Silly Putty. And again, there is your barcode. Um, Funrise owns this. Item number 34698M. Pardon me. Oh, wow. That's a nice little thing in the back there. Maybe those are the images you can use to transfer images. It's a real solid like number four or five of these. Biddy and Smith. Crayola owns this now. That's cool. Um, so maybe they had card. Looks like, yeah, just a little set of images in there that you could use for Silly Putty. All right, what else do we got in here? Oh, another monkey. Would you like to buy a monkey? Peek a boo toys. It looks like uh, George W. Bush, doesn't it? I kid. Here we have a bone figurine. The face. Uh, Egyptian armband, which I was going to get for a... I should pass that with my Halloween costumes. I was workshopping a Wonder Woman costume. You know. I still think she made a star when she deflected the bullets, but i never seen that on video. Here we have a red lantern ring. A green lantern ring. Uh, finger lights. Great if you want a cat. Uh -huh. I don't think it's a laser. I think it might just be high powered uh, LEDs. What else do we got in here? That's a box. Oh, let's see. Here is a really tiny, it's a Hero Clicks. This might be worth something. Hero Clicks Wolverine figure, number 57. It says, it says Wolverine has the X circle. 57 has a symbol next to it. Might be Ultron's head. Don't know, number 219. But there you go. And I believe this is actually was a free comic book day tying in. Yes, it says free comic book day, but Hero Clicks would um, not support, but let's kind of ride the coattails and say, hey, you have a store? You sell Hero Clicks? All right, here's a freebie we'll hand out for free comic book day for you guys. Kind of, 
again, if you didn't watch my previous videos, this is what I'm noshing on. Nice ginger candy. Okay. Nothing up my sleeve. Arresto Chijo. I'm joking. Mm. I kind of was joking. Oh. <laughs> okay. Here. God, the back is just kind of slowly. D, what we'll call it? I don't know. Anyway, you see this carpet? Kind of looks like holly, Christmassy. I mean, yes, that is, I don't know how close you can get on there. But yeah, those are red highlights in the green. This was the carpet at Barnes & Noble. When I started there in 1999. I want to say 2006. I don't know why they did this then. I'll tell you tomorrow why. Um, but 2000, let's say 2006, they changed the carpet. Still green, but better. And of course, it had been there for 15 years or so. Even though I say, I don't know why they did that, because they knew when the lease was going to expire. And they were not making enough money there, so they said, okay, thanks, bye. The game of Century 21. They're now out of business there. At 66 and Broadway. <laughs> Don't know what's going on next. All right, hey. Now, uh, stuff. Oh, yes. This baby vampire is Pamphlets. Cadaverson Nightshade is his name. What this was, was friends of mine had a, uh, did bar trivia. The actual is New York bar trivia. I forget the gentleman's name. Great guy. We would go on once a week to a bar. He did, I think, every night of the week almost. And we finally won one night. Or I don't know if we won or if this was like a consolation prize. Like uh, consolation? No. Uh, congeniality, I think it was. I think we had the best group name. So we got that. And I adopted it. But yeah, kind of cute. Round put. Again. And then we have a Lego bag. So I probably bought this at the Rockefeller Center store in New York City. If it's still there. Yes. I think that smell is hopefully it's not the plastic inside. So first, no, this is actually kind of cool. I don't know what the official color is for that. There's a gold brick. Well, gold plated brick. There's a keychain. Classic. Six. And we have an I Brick New York Brick. Twenty ten. And yes, it is official. This is official. The New York State Economic Development New York State Department of Economic Development. Which owns the I Heart New York logo. That refers to the state. It's part of their tourism branding. Not. Oh, yeah, just fit in there. Um, it's not New York City, it's New York State. Um, I don't have a tag for that. And then we have this little guy. Not Benny, but White Spaceman. Keychain. 1970 is when they started. There's the specifics on that. I'm sure Lego PD will have that. Ooh, and do I have the receipt here? Yes, I have the official Lego receipt. Still legible. 625th Avenue. Um, I purchased this July 9th, 2010. So it might have been a birthday present to myself. So we're talking, wow. Lego Space Keychain, 550. This uh, gold brick, 2 by 4 was 550 And the iHeart New York Duplo brick, that's a Duplo brick, was $2. For a grand total of $12.97, $14.12 after tax. So, oh yeah. this is a little cool thing. Go store, go visit. Like every other they have. There was another one over by Madison Square. Lord knows what's going on now. But 
and we have this, what is this called? The Rubik's Revolution, which is actually an electronic toy. And it does not move, but I think you have on each side that you press. So it's kind of like well, this, oh, the labels are starting to bubble. Um, I can probably be fixed. I'm not going to. Uh, probably should. Uh, no, I'm not going to. Um, so this is kind of like a Rubik's Cube cross with a sign, if you remember those. Um, again, not a big fan. Probably, probably so, no. Um, Mini Machine Bubbles, this one came with, I believe that's Blossom. As a kid, we used to love those. Put in a quarter, get something like that. Here we have another Hero Clicks, Hero Clicks Origin, Batman. Um, and the number on this is Batman's, oh wait. This is Batman, symbol, 53, looks like a speech bubble, number 214. Sorry about that. Okay. Here we have, oh, this was a great series. I have more of them. You go have to weigh a toy chest. But what year was this? 2001, 2002. Disney partnered, and Disney has that long-standing relationship with Happy Meal Toys and McDonald's. They did 100 Years of Magic. They put out 100 figurines. So I would go in and buy them. I wonder if this is... Oh, I can't even read that. Can I read it? Oh, yeah, there it is. It's a nice thing about the white way. You can test the transparency. This is... 100 Years of Magic, Walt Disney World. Here's on the other side. Sorry about this. I'm just written on the bag, really. I probably feel smart about it. I didn't collect them all. Partly because, you know, eBay exists to fill anything you need. And also, that's 100 of them. You have to get... I mean, McDonald's will sell you the Happy Meal toys if I haven't bought the Happy Meal. But still, that gets a little pricey. And I'm not a huge Disney fan. Damn, what can I read? Is there anything on that side? I'm not seeing anything on that side. You know what? Screw it, guys. I know some of you are going to say, ah, ah. And I'll pull it out just as you can see, too. So, But really, you can get, probably still buy these on eBay. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I thought it was. This is Mr. Scrooge McDuck, who is one of my favorite characters. 1947. Actually appeared in comics. Oh, wow, that tastes nice. Um, that's why I had separate. There you go. Scrooge McDuck. No longer a mitten bag. What kind of mitten bag? So that's why I had it in there, separate from all the others. Um, we have another goodie bag. This is still good. Yeah, it's still good. Silly buddy. And lots of other one of the most frustrating toys ever invented. I got a little oh, got, I don't know what these are supposed to be, but kind of cute. It'd be great on a Christmas tree, you know. I wonder if you could get um Sort of yeah, disco balls. 
as Christmas ornaments. Wouldn't that be cool? I'm going to ask him if he could turn around. Well, that would be cool. Turn the Christmas lights and the walls are on. You got. Yeah. Um, what is this? Oh, this was from a book publisher. I think it was Learner Books. It was importing and translating Monkey King manga. And so they got these to hand out at Book Expo. One of the classic bits of uh, mythology, folklore. Out of uh, Japan, out of uh, China. Look it up. Um, this one's slightly broken. Yes. And I'm not going to eat the candy. I think the candy has solidified. But I bought it because of that. Okay. If you want, there's the barcode. If you want to try finding it, this is. Hillco Corporation, one and a quarter ounce of fruit tarts. New Year. Okay. What else is in here? Another Hero Clicks Spider Man. I'm not going to bother reading the label on that, but again, these I think were free comic book day tie ins. Can has mystery box. Something's in here. Just rattling. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. God knows. Pandora, please watch over me as I unbox this. Oh, that is a very cute bone. You got in there. Oh, okay. Slinky Jr., another classic toy. Nobody gave that to me. Thank you. I know it's a little late. Let's go. Thank you. It's pretty cool. Here it is Natural History, American Museum of Natural History. Oh, <laughs> I know exactly what these are. I got a rock. What else is in here? If I remember correctly, they sold these by the pounds or the ounce. And, oh, yes, there's the bag that goes with it if they want to. They toss that in for free. If I remember correctly, these are at the gift shop on the astronomy side. The astronomy, the planetarium side. Yes, planetarium. Astronomy sign. Nice little bag to keep them in. But kids do not eat these, they're not candies, but still. I'll fill in there. I'll get that. Nice selection of rocks. Highly polished. I don't know what these flavors, compositions are. I don't know. Somewhere I think also have some that were metallic, polished metallic box. Um, there's those. Again, these are not candy kids. <laughs> All day suckers. 3,000% of the recommended day allowance of iron. So, again, I don't know why I paid for them, but I like them. Oh, wow. Wow. What are these worth? True story. I worked on my campaign for about a week. Okay. I wanted to do something for him. So this is New York City. So I called them up and said, yeah, come on down. We can use volunteers. They had you were using the space from the teachers union down. Oh, I don't know. Down by the World Trade Center, where the streets have names. And uh, so what I did for that weekend, up to including Election Day, at least last week of the election, is I was taking voter lists to other, what do you call them? They had about five locations set up, phone banks. 
And I was said, okay, you know, so hop on the subway, take them to this. One was an apartment, nice ladies, ladies, nice apartment. One was another union somewhere, really nice mini room. And that was it. Okay. Next we have Batman, Brave and the Bold, Happy Meal Toy. I think Happy Meal. Yep, Happy Meal. McDonald's 2011. Uh, Batman, the Brave and the Bold, of course, was a cartoon. Um, and this set is the... Does it say on here? Yes, Gentleman Ghost and the Spectre and Haunted Coach Toys. Again, you can look that up online. I'm sure there's a hot meal. This is number eight. There's a hot, hot and meal. Happy meal wiki somewhere out there that lists everything. Excuse me. These are polarized. Radio City. 3D film during Radio City Music uh, Spectacular. I don't know if I attended them that year. I did do it once when the family was in town for Thanksgiving. Amazing show, by the way. I mean, yeah, it's it's not kitschy. It's not campy. It's just fun. And what a theater. You don't play that one. Here's another box. Oh, Liberty Meadows Keychain. There's your barcode. And I think I yeah, opened it from the box. Eight dollars is what I paid for it. Yeah, there's the bag. I already opened it. Oh man, I have a friend who actually has an adorable wiener dog. I wonder if I should give that to her. Eh, no, sorry. But yeah, Frank chose Liberty Meadows. Don't go, I mean, the books are been strips of the collection of the books. Find those if you can. I don't know if it's still available online to read. But a fun strip. And he's a great artist, by the way, too. Whoa. <laughs> I should look these up. Um, is this a Barnes & Noble? Here is a Barnes & Noble. Maybe these are just ones I collected that were used. I hope so. To see their name. But here, Barnes and Noble, gift cards. Do a quick run through them. I don't know if people collect these anymore. There is a generic two hour Metro card. Here we have Shakespeare. And nobody in particular. Um, the one thing I would do, I just went on there, yeah. Is I would ask my relatives. I said, hey, you want to get me something? Just get me a Barnes Noble gift card because here's the thing. There's a That was a store credit. If you return things after 14 days, we give you store credit. Um, here's a Kinko's Express case smart card. Here's another dingy holiday card. Book bill, I think they called it. Um, but basically, and I even went online, but I said, hey, I get a 40% discount, 30% discount, 50% discount, depending on what I'm buying. At Barnes & Noble as an employee. Just give me the Barnes & Noble gift card. I'll buy a book. I'll send you a picture of it. And that's what they did. Then later, I went, this was $5.99. Oh, I got ISBNs on here. Um... I would go to, and I think you can still do this. I don't know if it's on eBay, but other places you probably can. And I would go, that's a nice one. It's a nice little folder. Oh, this is a digital one. This is pre printed. $50. I hope I used it. Um, but I would go online. And people would also do this for other companies, um, especially construction companies. But I would go online and people would say, hey, oh, I got a $50 or what? I got a $50 gift card to blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to shop there. I don't need anything there. I'll, I'll sell it online, right? It's free cash. And I heard about this because 
construction companies would do this, would buy up these gift cards for like Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. And usually, of course, you know what the money, well, again, it's bit some trust involved. But basically, you would buy the, you know what the value of the card was. It has the $20 card. Let's say put it on eBay. You know, people start doing that. And people would buy up to the $20 price. You're not going to spend $20 on a card that's only worth $20, right? So I would do this because I knew that even if I paid full price for it, it would actually, that $20 card would be worth something like $35 cards with, me with the extra discount on top of it. If I'm paying less, say if I get it for $15, that still is like a $35 value. I got only paid eight to 15 bucks for it. You see how that works? Still works. I don't know if people, if, you know, this was 10 years ago at least. Uh, what do we got here? We have Kellogg's. Oh, wow, this might be worth something. Kellogg's lightsaber spoon. Okay. Star Trek fans, we will tell me exactly whose lightsaber that is. Some legs out there might say it's an actual sonic screwdriver. Like me. Yeah, ha ha, very funny. Here we have a Green Lantern-inspired duck. If you really are curious, this is Oriental Trading Company. And there's the production number. Oh, another O'Biden. O'Biden. <laughs> Obama-Biden pen. Great logo. Here's another... Nineteen eighty nine. There we go. Let me go down here. We have. No oh, man, I don't even know what that's called. It's no big deal. I can switch to you. Um. Here we have not a hero's clicks, but a clone trooper card, eight of sixty. So I guess this was a. Wizards of the Coast, I guess, before they got Hero Clicks. Do they own Hero Clicks? I don't know. But this is Wizards of the Coast version of it. You can't use the game mechanics because that's probably patented. But they try their best. Oh, that's good. That's good stuff. Yeah. Here we have Marvel Hero Clicks Iron Man. And this is number 100. It's got a shield logo on it, I guess. In the middle there is, God, I don't know what that symbolizes. Number 200. Again, I mean, that's how it's supposed to go. Yeah, he's rocking it off. Then we have your classic Army Man. This is uh, Bring Me Home, mousewideopen.org. Look it up, I don't care. We have a one size fits all, looks like, cell phone holder. So here it is. Charleston's is the name on it. Probably a promotional item. I'm not going to put it in, but you stick it in like that. There's your base, and then you slide your phone right there. Yeah. Here we have a very basic stamped ring. Again, something you would find in a gumball machine. Doesn't produce gumballs. And here we have, again, my Zodiac sign. Little key ring, Geely Bobber. Probably found it on the street somewhere. More army men. Means the bottom of the bag. Here. Another bag of stuff. Oh, this is actually really cool. Pull shake. Better instructions. Uh oh. Okay, this is a Scooby Doo, real sounds talker. Candy inside. Okay, first of all, here's your barcode. There's your dealie bottle, right? Mm. 
Zoinkspoints.com. Yeah. So you can do Zoinks Points. That's clever. Probably not working. Well, not working anymore. That's a serial number here. Can I see on this? Has it had? No, it's on the other side. So Best Buy, July 30th, 2014. Candy Riffic out of Louisville, Kentucky. Um, it looks like now on the instructions there was a little thing here. Excuse me here. Battery instructions. Do not mix old and new batteries or different battery brands types together. Do not you you know, mix sound coin stand blah, blah, blah. Old supervision. Not short circuit battery context. You know, in charge, remove batteries are not in use or stars. The battery included in 10 grand store demonstration purposes only. Battery replacement 1.5 button cell batteries. Loosen the screw located on the top side of the battery door. Oh, looky there. I have not taken out the thing. Okay, Scoob, I'm going to give you a little instant lobotomy here. Nope, okay, I'm putting you back in then. Okay. Don't know what it does. But that's where the battery goes. You have to give him a little bot lobotomy. But it doesn't seem like there's a motion detector or something. Hmm. Anyway. Fun stuff I found is shopping around. Nice thing about being an adult is you see something that's fun, you can buy it. There's also something that, especially when you're a single guy like me, no one's going to tell you. What? You know, here we have a very heavy box. Win dot, I win dot com. It's not one of those subscription boxes because I was not participating in anything. It's, oh, remember what I was saying? These are the giant house of cards. Oh, man, look how thick they are. That is cardboard. Of course it has to be cardboard because this is just, wow. I believe there are 50 in here. Oh, man. I love opening stuff like this. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Doesn't take much to make me happy. All right. Right on the bag here we have. Oh, yeah. Jumping Brain. Right? This was at, this was actually at New York Comic Con, I think, in the uh, their uh, vinyl arts toys section. But again, you get a blind box. Oops. There's your possibilities. All right, so going on. Oh, that's a cool design, right? It's a frog with a giant brain. Here. There's your barcode. Toy 2R USA. Lincoln, Nebraska. Ah! That's interesting. So anyway, I bought this blind, and automatically, right off the bat, I didn't even open this, I got the variant edition, which is half gray beige and half clear. You see the insides? No, that would be too cool. But anyway. Sure. Collect them all. Emilio Garcia is the designer, 2007. Originally released in 2008. Um, they're out of Hong Kong. Toy2R.com. Okay.
I don't know if this is even worth anything. Maybe I should check that. But... God, I got so much stuff. All right, what else is in here? That was a big Okay, what we have? Ooh, this might be interesting. Too. Team Edward, Team Jacob, Twilight Saga New Moon, coming out 11 2009, Gift of Holiday Value, Summit Entertainment. And this is Burger King. This is a mitten bag, probably Burger King gift card. Someone can tell me exactly. Here we have a complete set of mad collector cards from Lime Rock. You know, those are the only ones who ever produced them. The 90s. Uh, related to this was, I think, Panini did a sticker album. And what they did is they just reproduced panels and stuff. Stickers. Here we have, I don't know what day it was from. People do collect these. The Metropolitan Museum of Art. Each day there is another, I think that's the blue ring, whatever that's called, Green Lantern. I have free, good for one beer, Brooklyn Brewery. I would go there once a year because they would have a tie in with New York Comic Con. They do the official beer. Brooklyn Defender, I think is what it was called. Support Draw, D R A. No idea who or what that is. What that cat's wearing. Here we have from Transcontinental Printing. A nice little tea lamp. That changes color. You can't really see it. It's gray. Now it's blue. Oh, there's a good cup. Good, good. Soothing. Listen to my voice. Okay. Ooh, purple. Okay. We have a Hello Kitty chocolate banana strawberry scented putty eraser. Sorry about that. Let me get you the barcode. That might have been a freebie from a toy fair. One of your comic on and I like this your buttons. Astronaut Academy. Ice cream bar. Don't ask me why. Oh, that looks like a Kim Deitch character. I'm uh, from Fantagraphics. Free Comic Book Day from 2007. DC Direct with a swirl. Oh, yes. My good friend. Um, Colleen Venable. Hamster... P.I.? No, guinea pig. Guinea pig P.I. Are you ready, player? Ooh, player one button. Before it became a big thing. I enjoyed the movie for watching the movie once. It was okay. But the story is all. Um, I don't know where that eyeball represents. It is a uh, fold back button like the Metropolitan Museum of Art. We have an evil genius. What time we have? Power up. Pulseofpower.com. This looks like a Bobby Timoney. The art. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. Oh, I should know better than that. This is uh, Paige Pumphrey. stuff. Also looks a bit like uh, Teen Haskell. Now here we have What Would Shakespeare Do? Button. It's a nice little caricature. Let me show you. Don't stab myself. Here we have a Green Lantern ring. Or does it go that way? Or does it go that way? If it goes that way. What does it symbolize? TIE Fighter? Yes, I am. I ask the questions others dare not. And then we have, oh, Cartoon Network. Which is funny because it's only, yeah. although even upside down. See, the thing is, I'm reading this backwards on the screen. So it's like that geek down there looks like. Um, here we have a Simpsons. Oh, yeah. This is good. Okay, so. I'm sure you guys have seen these little Japanese things, figurine balls that they send out. Um, this is Simpsons, and this 
Let's look it up. Is Sideshow Bob. What a great character. What are we ranking some of these uh, recurring characters on this list? Geeks out button. Uh, this is Abby Denson's artwork. Excuse me. Friend of mine. Her acquaintance, I guess you could say. We cross paths at Comic Cons every so often. I've known her for 25 years, 20, almost 30 years now. There is a spirit button. 2000. Um, I always save these. The ends of the, uh, I don't know what they call them, the uh, party horns. Right? Here is a knotted Star Trek. Go boldly. Remember when those were a thing? The uh, <coughs> mission bracelets. Here we have, again, another little vending capsule. It's every so often, you just gotta do it, right? For fun. And inside is, oh my. I'm gonna build it here. Yes, I'm speechless. Here is the. Hmm, what does this go together? I'm missing a piece. This is from Kinder, back when they were eggs. And again, you don't get these in the Americas because, oh, well, there's a toy inside there. They're going to eat the whole egg and they'll swallow this. So they had to redesign them to make Kinder Surprise. But this is Magic Kinder, magic kinder.com. Here's the whole dang family. Here is mine. And what I am missing, it looks like, oh no, it fits in automatically. I see. I looked at it. It's the wrong way. Good thing there are instructions, right? Copyright MPG TT080. So it goes in like this. And I guess you put this. On a ledge somewhere that has that overhang ish, right? And then you put oh, I see. You put this on here, and then when you go online with your camera, it pulls up something. All right. Oh, yeah, here's a little okay. What else is in here? Warning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, <laughs> Toy not suitable for children three years. Small parts might be swallowed or inhaled. And they have this in. That's what I feel. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, sixteen, Thirty-five, thirty-seven languages, folks. You think I'm making that up? No. But of all those countries where it can be sold, it can't be sold in the U.S. That didn't stop people from importing them in New York City. But anyway. Anywho, okay. I don't know what that's worth. Someone's probably there collecting it. What else do I have in here? Another Metropolitan Museum of Art button. And from coast to coast, Harper Collins Publishing. Just uh, empty. Green ball. Super ball, I guess you're fine. Okay. So, that's it for that bag. Wow, almost an hour later. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff. I don't know how you classify this, quantify it. Just some of the big bags. I'm going to put all the small stuff in here. 
or maybe a, some of these boxes can go in directly. The rest of this small stuff goes back. Oh, no. this. So. That goes to the bottom. So anyway, uh, I think I should have more than enough to fill this box now with to the brim with non-comics book items. Uh, once again, I thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon or later. But I hope to see you. And um, I hope you enjoy these videos that I do. No squeaker on them. Poor shoddy working chef. Um, but yeah, it's fun doing this. I love uh, discovering stuff I it's been long forgotten. Um, some of the stuff I'm just going to sell. As I said, I'm not attached to it in any particular way. I'll have a several walks with. But again, thanks for watching. Um, there's one person watching this. Let me see what that means. Go out the... Uh oh. Ah! What did I do? What did I do? Am I still there? Yeah, okay. Um, one person's on here. Does it say who it is? I can't click on that. Well, whoever this is, the one person watching. Hi. Um, tell your friends. Let me know who you are. Maybe I'll send you some swag. Like you want any of this stuff. Um, and again, if it's anything you liked, let me know in the comments. I might give it to you or give you more information about it if you're so interested because I'm a librarian. I like answering questions. Some of them I answer, ask myself. Like, why are we here? To make YouTube videos. So, bye. Thanks. See you soon. Share, like, subscribe. Um, and make some of your own if you want. Thanks. Bye.